So here's my patient. I can take a quick peek at my objectives and I can see there's a single phase for this activity, two activities to do in the phase. Interview the patient and submit the assessment. I take a quick peek at submitting the assessment and I can see that what I need to do is I need to make a choice. Um, either uh, there's no need for additional medication so the patient's not experiencing a sufficient withdrawal to warrant that or I need to call the physician immediately. So those are my two choices. So I can interview the patient. So I'm going to use my microphone to do that interview which I can just grab with my inside trigger on either hand and, and hold it when I want to um, interview the patient. Then I'm going to squeeze with the front trigger and press it down while I'm speaking. I'm going to use the interview guide to help me conduct this interview. So I'm going to set that right here. And I can see that it's giving me some su suggestions about um, what I should ask the patient. So for example, I can start with um, hello, Jeremy, my name is. In fact, I'll do that. So I grab onto the microphone, squeeze the front trigger, hold it down, it turns green. Uh, while I'm talking, I keep it, keep it pressed. Hello, Jeremy, my name is Jim. I'm a nurse here at the clinic. Hello. Okay, so Jeremy has responded to me. So now I have these questions. There's two pages of them, and I'm going to ask about nausea and tremor and sweats and anxiety and agitation. And I have a guide over here on the whiteboard that shows me the scoring criteria for this particular assessment. So they're all uh, judged on a, on a scale of zero, which is um, no observation, to seven, severe. And uh, some of these only have three criteria um, for different levels of, of um issues. So nausea and vomiting, I can see here, zero is no nausea, one is mild nausea, four is intermittent nausea, seven is constant nausea, frequent dry heaves and vomiting. So I'm going to be making a review um, of these symptoms and then keeping score. And then down here, I can see the interpretation of the score. The maximum is 67. Anything less than 10 doesn't need additional medication, which is the assessment that we saw there. So I can actually keep score here on the on the uh, whiteboard if I want. So I'm going to ask this first question, nausea and vomiting. So I can look at my guide. Have you vomited? Yes. I've been sick to my stomach constantly and I have been vomiting over and over again. Okay, that's pretty severe. So I can see that it's constant nausea. So that would be a 7. And I can pick up this... Uh, marker, and then I can just make a seven right there on the on the board, and I know that anything uh, that's over ten is going to warrant uh, contacting the physician. So my next criteria is tremor. So I can look here on tremor. Are you having tremors? My hands have been shaking badly. I can't seem to stop that. And I can observe that the patient has some problem with his hand shaking. They're shaking badly. I look at tremor, um, somewhere maybe between moderate and severe. So I'm going to say a six. Next is sweating. So I can look here. Are you sweating? It seems so hot in here and I feel like I am drenched with sweat. So I can see the patient was glistening with sweat. So the patient is drenched with sweat. So that would be a seven. So already I'm at 20. Um, I don't really need to continue this to, to realize that this particular patient is um, definitely having uh, a pretty severe reaction and I should call the physician immediately. But I'm gonna continue on just for, for this example. So the next one is anxi anxiety. So I can look here on my list. Do you feel anxious? No, not really. So that's a zero. Now for the scoring of this activity, I need to complete my entire assessment. So I'm not just going to jump out um, and, and make my assessment until I'm completely done because half of the score is for completing the interview and the other half of the score is for the correct answer. So now I'm looking at agitation. 
Do you feel restless? No, not really. That's a zero. Tactile disturbances. Do you feel itching? Yes, this is horrible. There are bugs crawling all over me and I can't make it stop. Okay, that's pretty severe. So that's going to be a seven. Auditory disturbances. That's the last one here on my screen. Do you hear sounds that frighten you? I do seem aware of sounds around me. Okay, that's not as severe. I'm going to say a four. And now I'm looking at visual disturbances. That's on my next page. Does the light hurt your eyes? Light seems very painful, and I am constantly seeing things that don't seem quite real. Okay, so that's a, that's a severe hallucination. So that's a five. Now I'm going to ask headache and orientation. Does your head feel different? Yes, I can't stand this feeling. Like there is a very tight band around my head. What day is it and where are you? I am at home in bed and it is Saturday. Okay, the patient's clearly not at home in bed and it is not Saturday. So that's a pretty severe um, disorientation. So uh, I'm going to complete the interview. Do you have any questions about this evaluation? I know what happens next, but it's not going to matter. You can't help. I'd say I appreciate you trying, but I've been truthful until now. I guess thanks for trying, though. So then again, I've gone through the questions. I've written uh, my score on the board so I can keep track of it. I know the score is definitely over 10. I've gone through the uh, entire interview. If I want to review any part of the conversation, I can use my um, interview re review tool and I can scroll backward and forward um, through, the, through the interview. And I can take a look at all of the responses that I got from the patient um, through the entire interview. And I can see these are numbered by, by the uh, components uh, that happened in the interview. So I start here with one, two, three. So I can scroll back and forth and I can read uh, and review these. I can listen to them again if I want to. It seems so hot in here. It seems so hot in here and I feel like I am drenched with sweat. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, assist, I'm going to submit my assessment. So I'm going to call the physician because the score is definitely over 10. And I can see my mastery is 100%. My score was submitted uh, successfully. So now I'm done and I can use the tablet and I can go back to the uh, lobby. So I'm going to go back and return to lobby. And now my experience is completed. And then, like all other applications on the Quest, I can leave the application by briefly clicking on the Oculus button on my right controller.